Das and I am an associate professor. I teach physics at the Department of Natural Sciences at UMES. That's a great honor uh, to receive uh, the Board of Regents uh, Faculty Award. Uh, University of Maryland system has 12 universities and three research centers, regional uh, centers. And there are more than 16,000 faculty members. To, so to, to get the highest honor uh, out of the 16,000 uh, faculty members, uh, it's, it's really uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, humbling experience for me. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great honor, not only for me, but for the whole UMES and for my students also. Uh, our goal is to uh, create in this in this lab modular research programs that th those are doable by undergrad students, but that can lead to uh, some innovation. Uh, one of the uh, research areas that we are interested in, biomimetics. We we study nature. We try to find the natural solutions that nature uh, has already provided us and we try to use those solutions to, to solve a big problem. We have created plasma in a microwave oven and that work was featured by MIT Technology Review. We have created graphene nanoinductors in this lab and that is also done by undergrad researchers. And if you take a piece of graphite which makes the, the lead of a pencil, then that graphite layer is actually a stack of graphene layers. Graphene, each graphene layer is one atom thick sheet of carbon and if you make a stack of those graphene layers you get graphite which is actually the pencil layer. We created bio batteries using bacteria. So those are live, batter, live batteries and you can use uh, your garden soil to create those batteries. The other aspect, other creative activity that uh, I'm involved in and which is very important uh, uh, from my own interest point of view is to create uh, a bunch of clicker questions. Those clicker questions are, are used in classroom and those clicker questions are drawn by, those are cartoon clicker questions and those cartoons are drawn by a very famous uh, cartoonist a uh, cartoonist whose name is Larry Gonick. So he is one of the most famous science cartoonists in the world. And we are using it in our classroom and that is showing great improvement in classroom discussions and classroom, uh, 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 and classroom engagement of students. And we have created one uh, payload for, uh, 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 for, for space research and that flew in zero gravity uh, parabolic flight uh, from uh, from Canada from Ottawa and that is also done by completely our undergrad students receiving the highest honor is uh, I'm really uh, happy and really proud of that and uh, at the same time it brings a lot of responsibility a lot of responsibility as a as a researcher as a teacher and uh, and it it also shows that our students can achieve any goal in the world. They can compete with the highest level researchers in the world. And uh, I truly believe that our students are are diamonds in the rough. My goal is to is to instill that faith in our students and. Uh, in, within our uh, fellow research community at UMES that we can do it. Our students can do it. 